I feel compelled to make this video because I feel it is hugely unfair to the young lady involved, but might affect all of you watching as well. If you go anywhere to any place that requires you to put your shoes behind the counter, such as a roller skating or an ice skating, or anything like that, where you are paying for a service and they are taking care of your goods, you need to watch this video. So first of all, welcome back. I am the Black Belt Barrister, helping you to understand law and, as it seems, helping you to solve your problems of late as well. So to explain this a little bit better, watch this clip. So from Twins Wonderlands, and um, I came here with these shoes. Those shoes there. And we went ice skating. Gave my shoes there. And this is what I'm leaving with. So in essence, if it wasn't clear from the video, this young lady went to Winter Wonderland ice skating and she went wearing one pair of shoes, put them behind the counter as they were taking care of them, as you usually do. And when she got them back, she got a much cheaper, presumably, pair of shoes back and obviously not the ones that she left behind the counter. So the question therefore arises, obviously, is whether Winter Wonderland is responsible and liable for the loss of these shoes. Now, before I go any further, I must stress this is not legal advice, but you all know that by now if you've watched my channel for a while. But I took a quick look Look at the terms and conditions for Winter Wonderland and indeed in section B subparagraph 6 it says and I quote items left in the ice skating cloakroom are left at the owner's risk but I respectfully disagree from a consumer law perspective if a consumer is paying for a service and part of that service involves putting your shoes behind the counter there is at the very least an implied term that if you are paying for a service and by using that service it requires you to leave your belongings behind the cloakroom counter, then the, the premises is going to take care of those with reasonable skill and care. And this comes about fairly robustly in the Consumer Rights Act 2015. So all service and goods contracts entered by a consumer after the 1st of October 2015 are covered by this act. But many people might be saying, and quoting my own videos back to me, by saying that the terms and conditions refer to this, therefore it's a term of the contract. But it's not as simple as that. You see, part two of the Consumer Rights Act Act 2015 deals with unfair terms and specifically sections 61 and 62. 62 reads that an unfair term of a consumer contract is not binding on the consumer. Similarly, in subparagraph 2, an unfair consumer notice is not binding on the consumer. Furthermore, in subparagraph 4, a term is unfair if, contrary to the requirement of good faith, it causes a significant imbalance in the party's rights and obligations under the contract to the detriment of the consumer. So in simpler terms, this means that if that term of the contract places a significant imbalance, a shift, in the liability, in the party's obligations under this contract. In this case, Winter Wonderland's obligation to take care of these belongings with reasonable skill and care. And as a result of this imbalance, there is a detriment to the consumer, then this term is deemed to be unfair and this term is not binding on the consumer. And when looking at whether or not these terms are unfair, subsection seven is also useful because it says whether a notice is unfair is to be determined taking into account the nature of the subject matter of the notice and by reference to all of the circumstances existing when the rights or obligations to which it relates arose and to the terms of any contract on which it depends. Again, in other words, if someone is going to a place where they are paying for a service and part of that service requires you to take your shoes off and there's at the very least an implied term that they are going to take care of these belongings with reasonable skill and care, but there is a notice buried in the terms and conditions that says, hey, it's your problem if they get lost or stolen or whatever, then in my view, that is an unfair term because it creates a significant imbalance between the premises and the consumer and therefore the obligations of the premises to take care of these goods with reasonable skill and care cannot be simply waved away to the detriment of the consumer. In other words, in my view, this term is unfair, it's unenforceable, and in situations like this, a claim is more likely to succeed than not if the consumer can show that they definitely turned up, as in this case, she was photographed wearing one pair of shoes, but given back a separate pair. All a consumer in this situation would need to do is provide sufficient evidence that this is the case, and on the balance of probabilities, a court is likely to find, in my view, on this set of circumstances, 
that the premises had an obligation to take care of those goods with reasonable skill and care and failed to do so and therefore is in breach of contract and a consumer would be able to claim for damages arising out of that breach of contract. Now for small claims which this would fall under because a small claim is any claim not more than £10,000 in ordinary monetary terms providing it's not a personal injury and things like that which in this case it's not. We're talking about a pair of shoes. In small claims the general rule is that the parties are not going to be at risk to legal costs, usually only the fixed costs which is things like the issue fee and any court fees and hearing fees and things like that. So personally if it was me that went to a place like that and they lost a very expensive shoes or an expensive coat and they tried to tell me that the terms and conditions are that it's just tough, I would almost certainly be filing a claim. So as always please seek formal legal advice depending on your set of circumstances but in general I hope this video helps. Please like and subscribe and share it with someone that you think will find it useful and thanks for watching.